um, widespread concern was expressed um, at what many called uh, an illegal and unilateral action by the Russian Federation. Uh, Russia defended its actions uh, on the basis of humanitarian need and unreasonable uh, Ukrainian behavior in holding up the aid convoy, um, as he put it. Perhaps I could just add in my uh, national capacity before answering questions that the United Kingdom is deeply concerned about this provocative and unilateral action. It is an undeniable and blatant violation of Ukrainian sovereignty and a clear breach of international law and the UN Charter. It has nothing to do with humanitarianism. That humanitarian effort is being coordinated by the United Nations and if the Russian Federation wanted to participate in that, it could do so in a collective way rather than acting unilaterally. What has happened is a further example of the gap between Russian rhetoric and their actions. They have said that they would work with the Kiev authorities and under the aegis of the ICRC and then they went ahead and acted unilaterally. And this is a pattern of a gap between the rhetoric and the reality on the ground. Russia denied that they had additional troops in Crimea just before they illegally annexed Crimea. They have denied providing military support to the separatists, which is manifestly untrue. They have denied shelling from Russian territory into Ukraine. That is also untrue. And we believe that Russia needs to stop its provocative acts withdraw military support from the separatists and work seriously with the international community on a peaceful resolution to this crisis. Thank you. Um, the Western countries, that is, are uh, condemning um, the, the aid convoy's entry into Ukraine. Um, were there any countries that were supporting Russia uh, in the Council? Uh, no. Yes, a number of uh, delegations, including myself, uh, did call on Russia to withdraw the trucks.